Hey guys, I'm going to be coming at you today and be doing a uh, quick brief review of the Midland 75-822 2-in-1. It's the uh, handheld CB radio slash mobile. It's kind of a one-of-a-kind. I've never seen anything that has the 2-in-1 system. So I figured I'd do a quick unboxing just to show you what you get in the box. And uh, then I'll just tell you what I like about it and one thing I don't like about it. Either way, the price on it is about $131. That's what I paid at my Flying J. But I think you can go online and get them a little cheaper. But either way, I took the packaging and all that stuff off just so I can get down to the brass tacks and show you what's coming in your box. You have your radio, which comes with two battery packs. The first battery pack holds six AA batteries. And uh, there's no charging port on the small battery pack. It also comes with a... Uh, battery pack that allows you to use your rechargeable batteries. So the bigger one holds eight. The one that allows you to recharge, this one here holds eight, and this one here holds six double A's. So you can see the size difference there. Either way, very cool because it has a very quick. You know, you can you can you can slap your battery packs on very fast. And here, let me get right into the mobile part of it. This is the neat part about it. Let's say you already have an antenna mounted on your truck or your Jeep. You can switch over from your handheld. Oh, it also comes with a pretty basic antenna. Nothing too special about that, but it's a you know, pretty neat setup. Of course, you got your belt clip on the end. Seems pretty durable and has a good weight to it when, you're, when it's got batteries in there. So, there's your radio, and of course it does come with a um, charger for the battery pack. The uh, battery pack does not have to be connected to the radio, of course. You can charge this separately. It doesn't take too long. I believe about an hour will give it a full charge. And it'll run all day, depending on how you're using it, of course. But the cool part about it I like, uh, you can switch over. You mount, you plug this in your cigarette outlet, and then you plug this into whatever antenna you're running. So, if you're in the truck and you don't want a big mobile radio or you don't want to mount one, you can just slap this on, and now you're using whatever antenna. And you can, you know, my antenna, I think I can get about a four-mile range, you know, depending on weather and all that stuff. So, reason I like it, I do asphalt. So, when I'm in my truck, I can talk to my dump truck drivers. But then when I get out of my truck, you know, I don't have to have a separate radio. All I have to do is right here, there's a little, little tab. You want to push up on it, and then it slides right off. And then you want to grab your battery pack, same thing. Just guide it right along the track, and you're good. Of course, you, you'll need your antenna when you're using handheld. However, when you're running it off your mobile system, you'll be using your other antenna. So there's no need to have a uh, you know small antenna like that on there. So it's pretty basic, and it's honestly very cool for hopping in and out of your vehicle if you're going to be in your vehicle all day stick to just a mobile only but my line of work i'm in the truck and i'm out of the truck and i gotta have my radio on me so it is a very cool setup one thing i don't like about it excuse me is these these battery packs <clears throat> they seem uh, like i've dropped my radio before and they break open relatively easy they break open like this and they're kind of a pain in the butt to put back together. So what I would recommend doing, if you can get the dang thing in there, it takes a little patience, which I won't bore you with it. You know, line the bottom up like this, and then just give it a little tug like that. Either way, to keep from having these things bust open on you, what I did, this is an, an, another battery pack I had from one of my other radios, I just took a piece of black duct tape and wrapped it around the side, Made it a whole lot more durable. I have dropped this before several times, and it's stayed together. So I would recommend getting you some duct tape, wrapping it around the, the battery pack, and uh, that definitely did help out. So I would I would definitely recommend duct taping your, your battery packs once you got your batteries all in. So basically that's about it. I just wanted to run it down to you and give you guys just a basic overview. It's AM only. There's some, uh, you can save... You know, there's memory. I've never even really used it. Of course, I think there's you got your light. Uh, you can lock it. And there is weather on there as well. 
but it is pretty basic. It's handy. If there's not a lot of room in your truck to mount a mobile radio, this works fairly well. You know, this is basically you know, very small, and it doesn't take up a lot of room in your truck. And, uh, you know, that's really about it. It's just a pretty good system. And, you know, like I said, AM only, no SSB or anything like that. You got your volume, your squelch. It's very basic, very basic. But I do like, it comes with the two battery packs. Most of the time, I'll run my rechargeable battery pack all day, and I kind of use this one for my backup. So, that's it, guys. I hope you liked it. I would recommend getting one, depending on what you're doing. If you're not doing a lot of, you know, if you're a CB guy that likes all the specs and all that stuff, maybe go, go another route. But if you just want to stick to the basics, very basic. Oh, and your, your button's over here on the side. Of course, you got your PTT, and then your channel up, down, over here on the side, which has a good feel to it. And pretty good quality so yeah definitely wrap this thing in duct tape so if you do drop it it don't break but hope I didn't uh, drag on talk for too long but just wanted to give you guys a, just a little bit of my opinion on the radio I like it good system I recommend getting a few alright guys have a good one hope you guys liked the video